All right, hello and welcome back to another live stream from uh, Power BI Tips. We're back and live again. We've got some new features we want to announce. Uh, Seth, what's our announcement today? If we were excited about our last announcement, um, this one I think takes the cake. I don't know. This one's going to be hard to beat. Today we are announcing the gallery in the Tips Theme Generator. With that, we'll turn on my screen here and we'll jump right in. So let's introduce this new thing that we just built. This is part of the Power BI Tips theming capabilities. Uh, you, you'll go over here, you'll visit our normal website, themes.powerbi.tips. And when you go to there, uh, that website, so themes.powerbi.tips, you'll be able to see the UI has changed. We've got a new header bar. We've got new menu items here. Uh, you'll also notice on the left-hand side, we actually have some new icons. So our new icon that we're introducing here is this thing called a gallery. We really want to highlight this one. We have built an incredible tool to let you build full reports. If you haven't followed us in the past, we have this ability to create these things called wireframes. You can think of this as a gallery of all the wireframes. These are individual reports. So if we click on a couple of these items here, you can click on the items in the gallery. It will now open up a preview pane. And in here, it shows you all the pages of the report. So the pages you're looking at here is it's showing you the page of the report and it also shows you the outline of where the visuals would sit on each page. So this, in this example here, we have a background image already applied with shapes or objects on those items that are pre-built for you. It's basically a template ready to go. If you want to look at just the background colors, you can look at the scrims or the backgrounds. This is all the different images and that are, that are used in this project. You can see them here. And if there's any special theming properties with the, the theme preview, uh, you can click on the theme preview and it will actually present a sample report with whatever the color palette or, or some of the basic settings there for a theme. So with that, uh, that is kind of the gallery. Once you get done with looking at what you like, if you find an area in the gallery that you enjoy or you uh, like what you've built there, uh, you can go ahead and download that project directly. So you can click on the object. After you look at it, you can download directly from here by using the download button. And that'll bring this uh, project down to my local machine. Now, while this thing's loading, Seth, go ahead and what's what's the reasoning behind this? Give me some of this, the background history is why is this amazing and why should we care about consuming things from the gallery? Really, this is just a combination of a lot of all of the ideas in rough form that we've had in the past, right? Scrims were the backgrounds. Layouts was probably one of the first things that we, we did, and you'll still find those on the site. But it's really the combination of the background the visualization and the theme. And the new PBIP file or project file really allows us to combine all of these things together into a centralized location, which you'll find in the gallery. So where this really resonates and I think is really fun is we obviously have a tool that Power BI developers and people that use Power BI every day understand and know how valuable the tool is to create themes that are repeatable objects that make all your reports look great. Where this really extends in the gallery is, I think this opens up the audience for the business user, because typically that user journey is people are just starting, right? They're just starting with Power BI. Somebody tells them, you know, go download the desktop and there's this learning curve and this experience and what do they need themes for? And that that progression kind of looks like I'm going to build a couple pages for myself. But then that eventually comes to a couple more. And then we see the value. And all of a sudden, I have 10 pages or 15 pages. And then it turns into someone wants to see it. And much in the same way that business users tailor and craft their text or, or presentation in a PowerPoint, this is very similar in that aspect. Like, this experience, as you're going to show, can download all of this UI for them, and all they have to do is plug in the data. And then it's a Power BI file. You can tweak the properties. You can you can um, update the visualizations as you would mm -hmm. want to. It's exactly the same experience, except now we have these backgrounds. And the extra added value is you don't need to um, mess around with the placement of the visualizations. And as you'll show, I think, right now, you know, it's very easy to just quickly add data to these different artifacts. Mm -hmm. So why don't you walk through that and then we'll we'll talk about the extended version of what this tool allows. Yeah, exactly. So while Seth was kind of giving you the introduction to the background of 
why this could be valuable. One, this is cool, right? We can we can now share works together as a team. Here's a report. It's done. Like we've got all the, the uh, did it. The report built. The visuals have been styled. We have you know shapes on the page where visuals may go. Okay, let's add some data. So it's as easy as going into my One Lake data hub, going to grab an existing data model that maybe my data modeler or data engineer built for me. I'll connect to that data model directly, and now this thin report now becomes lit up with a whole bunch of data. And so now I, I stop focusing on the design aspects of my report, and I can focus more on just building data and bringing it together here. So for example, I could uh, bring my sum of sales or profit over to these visuals, and by dragging and dropping the various data elements right from my report, I can just drop them right on my report page here and fill in the visuals with the data directly from my data model. So uh, on my scatter chart, scatter chart here, maybe I want the, the profit versus the number of units sold broken out by country. And I can now uh, produce a visual really quick by just dragging and dropping a couple fields here. So maybe I want to color it by country as well, or maybe I want to have other things like the product in there as well. So I'll add the product to the legend. So now I have a scatter chart already made. It's already styled. The things that I care about the styling of the report are already built into it. Um, again, you could just kind of mull your way through all these different visuals and start adding the different data points that you want on here. Let's go maybe sum of sales instead on this one. Uh, and so for all my, all my business folks as well, um, you can see the power of the one lake where you can just automatically hook into a model, but th this isn't just that data set. It's any data set that you have. It's your Excel yeah. file. It's whatever data you want to pull into the report. The value of this is you have the UI already and you don't need to mess around with any of that. It just becomes a really easy, simple experience to add your insights onto the page and make it look really good for yourself or other people. And so this is kind of the experience. Download the file get it connected to some existing data or someone else that has already modeled the data. And likely, this is these are two activities that are happening at the same time. Someone's building a data model somewhere, and it probably doesn't look really good with the report on top of that one. And someone else is trying to say, how do I make a good-looking report that's very actionable and we can use it? So this is a, a good way of taking the, the thin report or the report side and focusing on just the design aspect. And you can see here, this was just one page. There's also multiple pages here, page three, page four, and page five. And there's other visuals already pre-built for you. And the, the cool thing about this is, right, like you have a lot of different pages in all of these different project files. So if you want to repeat and use the same page, it's very easy, right? You're in the Power BI desktop. You just duplicate the background, duplicate, duplicate, right? So you have a lot of flexibility in which backgrounds you want to use within here. If you don't like the visualizations, just click on them and switch them out. They're the right size. They're the right alignment. They're the right spacing. And it just simplifies that whole experience. So Mike, how do I level up an already fantastic experience that you just showed? All right, so this is cool. This is a lot of content that's being created for you. Let's enhance this content and modify it for our own needs. So let's go, let's zip back over here to the gallery again. So, okay, I'm in the gallery. Now, if you are a Tips Plus subscriber, uh, you can sign in with your account. So I will sign into my Tips Plus account. Uh, and they are $3 a month if you pay monthly, $2 a month if you pay yearly. So it's a very low barrier to get into the, pro the program as well. But now that I've signed in, if I want to tweak or adjust this, I can go click on the project again. I can actually copy and edit this. So this is a way of allowing you to take something from the community and then go modify it further and add anything else you want. So here I'm going to go copy and edit this page. So I'll copy and edit it. It will now bring the project into the wireframing section. And this is what we've talked about previously, where you can actually build your own wireframes of a Power BI report. So if you don't like the orientation of the pages, if you don't like the kinds of visuals, if you want to enhance the styling or the coloring of any of the visual pieces, you can then continue to adjust this project and meet it for your needs. So let's just say, uh, for example here, I'm going to duplicate page one. So I'll duplicate page one. I'll rename this something else. Let's just call this page six. I'll put this at the end. And then I can go in and edit it by double clicking the visual. And now I can then continue to adjust what's happening on this report page. So you can see here on the upper left-hand corner, I have an image and just a general text box that's available to me on this page. So I may want to not use these and I may want to build something else. So I could just delete off these objects as well. And then I could add whatever I want. Let's add, a, you know, I can add a funnel chart here. 
We can drop that over here on the left hand side. I can even turn on an, a background color and change the transparency to like uh, 30% so that we get a little bit of like a, a, a frosted glass look on top of the report. And then we can also add a map on here as well if I want that. Again, the same thing, all of our edges match up automatically for us so we can align things just how we want to see them. I'll snap that in there, turn on the background on this one, and again, I'll, I'll mirror the same 30% transparency on this second visual. About 30%. And that's just the report side building, right? So great, we've got this one. Uh, we can even go further and continue to stylize additional properties. So let's say I want to adjust properties of all my visuals. I can then go into the properties area and in here I can continue to adjust and refine my experience on the individual charts. So here I have a, a bar chart here. Uh, you can continue to adjust things further and start adjusting the title properties, the alignment, uh, other colored factors of your report. So. Um, let's just do a couple more modifications. Let's go back to our global properties. We will adjust the titles because that's what we I like typically like to adjust my titles of things. So we'll go to the title layer. We will change my alignment of all of our titles to be the center. I will turn them on by showing them. So turn that on. And then I'll turn up the size of the titles to around 21, 22, somewhere in there. And then I could say sample title. And I can just type in what I want here in the theme file. And now this will automatically adjust all the titles in my report. And I probably want to even pick a font color. So let's pick a, a dark color here as well. We can go back to our color properties. And in here, let's go to the palette, sorry. We can go to our gradients and then we can just kind of randomly pick some colors here. I'm going to pick a, hopefully a good color that matches. Let's add all these. Let's pick a couple more colors. See if we get something we like here. Too bold. Uh, maybe some of these as well. Okay, maybe these are colors that we want to use. I'm going to remove a couple colors here that I think are a bit too loud uh, from this color palette. All right, so now I've got at least a color palette that maybe somewhat will go well together. I can rearrange the colors however I want. And now what I do is I can then make this my own custom one. So this is, you know, Mike's custom theme. So uh, I'm just going to say Mike's custom here. And now when I save this, it saves it to my profile. So I can always come back to this a project and then update it or modify it for my needs or whatever I'm styling here. So download the project, make some changes. Ah, it doesn't look right. I can always come back to the project file and then continue to update or adjust my colors, my palettes, any of the other properties that we're finding anywhere in the visual. This is what's really exciting to me about this is such a huge upgrade from the original layouts because it we start with we start with everything you would need, but it might not have all of the tweaks and the things that you would want for yourself or your business. And this now allows you to, especially with like the theme colors and the visual properties and changing those on a global setting to fit and meet your need for a business standpoint, and then make that your own version of something that you found on the gallery where there are already many, many hours put together um, from ourselves and uh, we're going to be opening it up to contributors as well um, to be a true community gallery where people can just plug and play. And how I, I like to think about uh, this from the business user perspective is if, if we create slides back to PowerPoint one by one, right, and we make them look good and then we move on to the next slide and we do that, there's a lot of tweaking that you're doing on each one of those slides. So think about this experience as like the master template. Right. Whenever you open up that PowerPoint presentation, you already have 50 slides and they're ready to go. And all you have to do is pop your data in there and you automatically have a presentation in the same way. The gallery does that for you. And that's that's where I think where we've taken from an amazing tool that still does all the great technical things um, for those builders also opens up this whole other audience that doesn't really need to know all the technical specifics in here. You just get the value and then you can build and tweak as you would like to. So super excited about this one. And so there we go. I've already downloaded my new version. This is my new page. I've already changed my style of my property. So you all automatically know the colors in the file are now automatically adjusted per my recommendations and inside the generator. I was able to tweak that and customize it also you'll now notice my titles are nice and large and they're centered on every single visual. So by adjusting those files very simply with a couple little quick clicks and options, we now have the full file already done and ready to go. With that, that basically wraps up our demo of the Power BI uh, gallery and why you'd want to use it and how you want to use it with your wireframing inside your projects.
We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we thank you very much for your time. Uh, if you like this, if you like what you're seeing here, please go to the website, try it out. The link is in the description below. Go hit that link and it will take you directly to the gallery. You can start playing with gallery items today. You can download them right now without even being a Tips Plus subscriber. You can already download existing projects from the gallery right now. And then um, if you want to become a Tips, Tips Plus subscriber, you can do that and you can then modify your own projects and design them for your own company's needs. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.